Hello guys, now this is the time to change into Android Studio. This is because Android Studio is now not in beta version. Google releases a stable version of Android Studio. So in this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Android Studio with Android SDK. So the first thing you have to download JDK. So if you already have Java installed in your computer, then you can skip the first step. So in first step, I am going to download and install JDK. So for downloading JDK, open your browser and type JDK download. Go to the first link. Yeah, click this link with uh, some Java label. Click this link. Okay, before going to download, you have to accept some license agreement. So accept the license agreement. And here now you have to select the proper version of JDK for your computer. So here I use a Windows 7 64 bit. So I have to download the 64 bit version of JDK. Here you can see that Windows into 64 means this, is, this JDK is corresponding to 64 bit version of Windows. If you have a 32 bit operating system, then you have to download the 32 bit version of JDK. Here the 32 bit version of JDK it is labeled as Windows into 86. This is the 32 bit version. So here I use a 64 bit version. So I click this link. Okay, here my download is started. Okay, now we successfully download JDK. Now we have to download Android Studio. So open your browser again and type Android Studio, Android Studio download. Go to the first link. From this official website, you can download the suitable version of Android Studio. So click this, you can download Android Studio from this direct link. Click this link. Here also you have to accept some terms and conditions. So read all this and accept the terms and conditions and click this button download Android Studio for Windows. Okay, here my download started. It is about 800 MB of size. Okay, now we successfully downloaded Android Studio and JDK. Now, the first thing you have to install JDK. Before going to install Android Studio, you have to install JDK first. So here I am going to install JDK. So double click the installer icon of JDK. Click next. JDK is installed in this path. In C drive program files, there is a folder called Java, and inside that folder, there is a folder called JDK. And click next. Now the installation is started. Okay, now the JDK installation finishes. Now click close. Okay, now we complete the first step. We successfully install JDK. Now comes to the second step. This is very important. The second step is very important for working with Android Studio. You have to set the variable path, the Java home variable path for JDK. So for setting the Java variable path, open your computer and go to your Windows directory. By default it is on C drive. Go to the program files. After installing Java, there you can see a folder called Java. Open that folder. In that folder you can see three, you can see two types of folder. First one JDK and JRE. JRE is Java runtime environment and JDK is the Java compiler. Okay. So open JDK. Yeah, this one open JDK and copy this address from the address bar. Copy this one. Now 
right click your my computer icon and select properties now go to advanced system settings now here you got another window and in that window at the bottom of that window you can see a button called environment variables select that one here click the new button and in for variable path type java underscore home okay you have to type the exact java in capital letter then put a underscore symbol and home and paste the address here and click ok now click ok now exit all the windows ok now we successfully installed JDK and now we successfully set the Java home variable path ok now we have to install Android Studio so here I'm going to install Android Studio so double click the Android Studio installer icon now click next and here we are going to install Android Studio Android SDK and Android virtual device there is no need to install the Android SDK and Android virtual device in separate installation. You can install the Android Studio, Android SDK and Android virtual device by using a single setup and click next. Now here agree the license agreements and this is the location. The first one is the Android Studio location. It is installed in C drive program files there is a folder called Android and inside there is a folder called Android Studio and this one is the Android SDK location SDK location so we have to change that one so in my C drive here I am going to create a new folder so I just create a folder here and type it and name it as new Android SDK okay yeah there is already a folder with that name rename it android yeah android new sdk okay now browse for that folder it is in c drive it is in c drive Yeah, this one Android new SDK and click OK now click next now click install now the installation is started ok now the installation is completed successfully and click next now we can start Android Studio by click finish now here Android Studio is starting uh, at beginning it will take some time because uh, it is needed to extract all the Android SDK folder so at the first time you have to if you already have some Android Studio version you can import the settings from the previous version to this one so if you if you do not have any uh, previous version of Android Studio just tick the second version I do not have a previous version of Android Studio and click OK now it is starting Android Studio is now starting at first time it takes some time it's a, it's take some time and you have to wait this is only happens at the beginning this delay is only happens at the first time starting okay now it will download the needed SDK components 
there is no need to download uh, the SDK separately you can complete the SDK installation from the same setup so now this is now the Android Studio download the needed SDK platform tools so you have to wait a little bit time because it will take some time okay now it's create some Android virtual device and now it's finished all the installation now we successfully install Android Studio, Android SDK and it creates some Android virtual device and click finish okay at the beginning when you start Android Studio for first time a window like this will appear so you have to start a new project from here you can start a new project from here or you can import an existing Android Studio from here okay so for starting for uh, entering into Android Studio you have to create a new project here so click this start a new Android Studio project so now here you have to specify your project name so I name the project as first app and specify the package name okay and here is the project location there is no workspace in Android Studio you can just you, 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 you have only the project location there is no workspace in Android Studio and click next now you have to specify what is the project type if you have create an if you create Android application for phone and tablet you can select the first version if you create an Android app for TV then you have to select the second one if you have if you want to create Android application for VR devices you can select the VR one VR so here I select the phone and tablet option and now here you have to specify the minimum required SDK I select the honeycomb and click next from this window you have to select your activity I select the blank activity here other options like blank activity with the fragments a full screen activity Google map activity okay a lot of other options are available so I select uh, the blank activity option and click next now here the activity name and layout name also the project title and the menu resource name okay I'm not change anything and finish for the first time it will take some time to load the project and Android Studio so wait some time okay now the Android Studio is open up you can see a tip window here you will get a number of tips and I close that one okay now the project is launched in Android Studio so it is much same as Eclipse with some changes here is the project structure a separate folder for the manifest file here is the is a Java folder that contains two packages and here is the drawable folder here is the layout files and a separate menu folder values folder okay all are same same like in Eclipse okay and from the toolbar from the menu bar you can select the Android virtual device here is the Android virtual device monitor it is not Android virtual device manager yeah Android virtual device man here is the SDK manager and here is the Android virtual device manager here already a device is created for you you can create the new device by clicking this button and here you can select you can create devices corresponding to TV phone Android VR on tablet so I select the phone option and select one device and click next I think now this all the files are downloaded from the cloud so you can download 
any needed Android virtual device from here. I'm not going to do it now, so I click cancel. Okay. Now you can change. Now you can change the appearance of Android Studio by select the file option and go to settings. You can select the Dracula theme. It is more attractive theme for Android Studio, and select the editor option. Select the editor option and choose the color and font option. And here you can select the scheme name. Select the Dracula scheme and click apply. Now you need to restart the IDE for for this Dracula theme to take effect. So I restart the IDE now. Okay, now you can see that it is more attractive than Eclipse because it's a very nice background for the Android Studio. Guys, this is how we download and install Android Studio in a Windows platform. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part.